Uh, I feel like our, our defense, uh, you know, we got a we uh, we we struggled on the road a little bit, you know, stopping guys and and, and taking care of the ball um, on offense. So those those two those two uh, points were huge for us tonight. What's been the message, Tristan, here the last few weeks? You know, this season probably hasn't gone how you guys wanted, but it says a lot that you're still playing and that you came in here and got this win tonight. So what's been the message from the coaching staff and the message amongst you you guys as players? I mean, first and foremost, just come out and, and compete uh, from the get-go. And, uh, you know, we, we we love playing with each other. You know, we're, we're a really tight group uh, here at Colorado. So um, we love playing for each other, and we, we still do it. Um, you know, we just we just had struggles so far in the past um, keep, taking care of the ball and guarding. Um, and I feel like tonight um, that wasn't as big of an issue as, as usual. There's junior wing Tristan De Silva after a 23-point effort in a victory by the Buffaloes in Tempe, Arizona, for Arizona State back in a stampede out here at Corelli's. Monday night, 7 till 8 o'clock, right here for Buffs prime time. After the game in Tempe, the Buffs that on Saturday were down at the McHale Center in Tucson, Arizona, playing the eighth-rated team in the country. Got off to a great start. Up by 12, in fact, at one point before the Wildcats came storming back. Buffs end up losing by 10 in that one. And talking basketball over the weekend, we talked with KJ Simpson, the point guard for the Buffaloes out here at Corrales. Powered by Ford, cars, trucks, and SUVs built for America. Built Ford proud. Joining us, he's a California guy, point guard for the Buffaloes, number two. Now to sophomore season, KJ Simpson uh, during our player segment tonight. Man, got some fans here tonight. Ah, uh, just a little bit. <laughs> All right, this past weekend, what was your assessment of uh, getting a split down there in Arizona? Yeah, I mean, obviously we would like to walk away with two wins, but uh, I think we could just hold our head up high. You know, our fight was there. Yeah. Um, and just learn some things that, you know, hopefully we could take forward and, you know, use to these these uh, these last games that we have ahead of us. You know, this team, the one thing this team has done all season long, uh, and, you know, there's, I'm, I'm sure there's, just like Ted's talked about, there's probably five, six games you'd love to have back this season, mm -hmm. right? But this team has competed game in and game out. There's been no doubt about that. What did, when, when Tad said to you guys, you got to be tougher, what, what, is that, what does that mean to you guys when you hear that? Uh, I think just play with a sense of urgency and more energy. Uh, yeah. we can, you can kind of sense it on the floor when a team is playing tougher than the other is that opponent. Right? Uh, whether that be on the offensive you know, rebounding uh, type scale, their defensive pressure, just how they run the floor, just simple things like that. But I think just more of an energy, like we need to have more energy, you know, have guys, even if you're on the bench, just clapping, cheering your teammates, sure. through, you know, just simple things like that. How do you think you've evolved now? You know, last year you had a reserve role right, in large part. This year you come in and, okay, Tad hands you the ball and says, all right, you're the quarterback out here. How do you think you've evolved? Well, what changes for a player when that happens? Uh, I think just having to understand and read the game a lot better. Um, I'm still learning that. You know, I've always had room to grow. I always have room to learn. But um, I think just my patience, you know, not always going 100 miles per hour like I kind of did freshman year. Yeah. And just reading the game, reading what the defense gives you, uh, understanding the feel for a game. You know, when a guy is hot, like Tristan, or um, – when I needed, you know, like Coach said, get the ball in the pay and feed, you know, the bigs like Lawson, just simple things like that. I'd have to think with with your physical ability, because I mean, you you are an athletic guy, and you, know, you got a gear that a lot of guys don't have. When you're in high school, that that kind of covers up a lot of mistakes, doesn't it? Oh yeah, right. For sure. Then you get here, and you're playing against growing men out there, and they're quick, and they can, you know, they move well, and they can leap well. All of a sudden, you have to start thinking the game. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's more of a mental game. The higher you kind of go, and uh, you can kind of get away with it, like you said, at high school and stuff like that. But here, you guys are just as fast, just as strong, if not stronger, taller, more athletic. So you have to think the game a lot more than, you know, you kind of would get away with. When, when Tad talks about, you know, you and Tristan, it says, okay, there's two, two cornerstones. I'm going to live and die with those two guys. Did you like hearing that, that he's giving you that responsibility? Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. And that was... That was lovely. Yeah? No, nah, that, that was lovely, yeah. Nah. But um, That's a great description, isn't it? It was lovely. It was lovely. That's lovely. But also with that, you know, it comes responsibility, which, you know, you want as a player, but sure. you have to be, you know, ready and accept that role and understand that, you know, you can you have all the good that comes with you, but also all the bad and the negative, uh, just like he does as a coach. So um, it's definitely a role that you have to be prepared to take. Who, who have you 
looked up to or modeled a game after in terms of, you know, some NBA guy that mm-hmm. that's a point guard? I mean, who who do you look up to? Um, I watched a lot of film with uh, Coach Greer, and, you know, he liked to – we like we like to watch, like, Steve Nash and Chris Ball kind of just sure. – their change of pace and um, how they, you know, work in ball screen actions, which is something I feel like I'm kind of improved on. And yeah, like, you have. But also, in terms of just my game, I, I like to model, like, John Morant just because yeah. h- how he's explosive and how he can uh, just change motors and also just his pace as well, just things like that. I feel like it's a little bit similar. Well, when you're talking Steve Ash and Chris Paul, you're talking about a couple of very simple exactly, reading yeah. guys. Just right? reading, reading the game. Yeah. They're just out there, you know, not just playing to the play. They're reading the defense, you know, using not just, you know, their skill set, but their, their mental as well, which yeah. is a huge part of basketball. I, I've, I've seen many times I've tried to describe it. So there are times when I see you, you know, you got the ball and you're kind of orchestrating things. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, it's real easy to go, like you said, a thousand miles per hour, like you're capable of doing. But that change of pace, I've seen you do that a lot. You get a guy in your hip, kind of, and you kind of, you kind of ride him down the lane a little bit. And I see you looking for guys. That change of pace can be a great weapon, can it? Yeah, exactly. I think that it took me a long time to finally understand that. But, sure. um, you know, that's something I've really, really been working on or really been improving on. And I still am. Like I said, I have a lot to work on. But uh, I just I can see that, you know, that leap that I've made from last year for sure in that area. I'm going to ask you to put your analyst hat, your coaching hat on right now. All right. Okay. Tristan De Silva. Oh, tell me about him as a player. Uh, he's just spectacular, you know. I mean, he's unguardable. I mean, he could play, you know, just every position and uh, kind of a mismatch out there. The sophomore point guard for the Buffaloes, K.J. Simpson, dynamic player for Colorado, coming off the split, now getting ready for the L.A. schools here this weekend in Boulder. Coming up next, the CU women also split on the road against Arizona. We're going to talk with head coach J.R. Payne after a break. <laughs> 